start on uh, what we call our normal no, comfort no. mode mm -hmm. and while we drive we'll switch to sport and track okay the cool thing about McLaren I don't know if you know that but this is handling this is powertrain that's right so if you want to have the full power but still driving the car on comfort, comfort yeah you could you can do it you basically so split exactly the you can split power. so go ahead put on a brake start the car shortcut to put it in drive just paddle shift to first now we are in automatic first would you like to drive it automatic or manual only? Uh, manual I all right so we're gonna press here active manual, manual. Okay. all right just tap the gas slowly that's gonna remove the parking brake hold on for a second it's gonna back up here she's going to back up somewhere then uh, we'll make yeah. a right turn and a right turn again just be aware today there's a lot of cops a lot right, so they're right in for us. if you want to go fast i'm cool with that but just so you know it's your license it's your deal so Your throttle is bones, your steering input, everything's gonna get a bit tighter and more responsive. Then on our way back, we can switch to track where everything's gonna really turn very steep and really, really responsive uh, regarding um, the gearing and everything. Done some additional remapping because that 570s that I drove on the track. Yeah. Um, there are times when you could feel a bit of a turbo lag with this car. It's interesting. It, um, you know, it's there and almost. Well, you know, one thing that I always tell people, and I'm sure I'm not worried about your driving skill, yeah. but you know, turbo lag. Where are you driving the yeah. car with traction control off? Yeah. No, okay. I, had, I actually had traction control on. That might be the reason why. Maybe you were getting too... Here no, again. one more. Okay. Maybe you were getting a little bit too greedy exiting the corner and the traction control was on, so it was cutting off to make sure you were not going to get into a spin. Yeah. Because remember, traction control is linked to your steering input. Yeah. That's where we're going to turn. So if you do have traction control on I and see. you reapply gas too soon, soon and your steering gonna, angle is too strong, well, guess what? It's the injector, take, everything's going to get shut off for a little bit to let you know, hey, turn, turn yeah, here. you know, that's going to tap you on the shoulder saying, you leave it a bit, you're getting a bit too greedy here, slow down yeah, yeah, a little bit down. I'm gonna, and wind the steering wheel and I we give see. you full power. So that probably was it. Because that's the one thing about the spine, I'm like, this is a great car, it's a great package, but I didn't, and I, I wish I knew that. Um, I wish I knew that when I was driving, because that would have made a world of yeah, difference. Yeah, you should have turned off traction control. Yeah, I didn't, but I if didn't you do this, you that. have to make sure you're very smooth. Yeah. You know, that, I, yeah. that thing. Because it's only 60 pound heavier than an S, yeah, this okay. car. So not a huge difference when you think about it. All right, guys, Dr. M3 here. As promised, I am in the McLaren 570S Spider, yep. right? And I'm with Julian. Julian. So Julian is a uh, race car driver with McLaren, and he's out with us in Monterey uh, on these you know, bit, bit of a canyon road, and we're sort of testing out the new uh, model in the Super Sports series, and that is the 570S Spider, as I said. Uh, the car is about 60 pounds heavier without this the roof. And the interesting thing of red, and it's clear because of the sort of uh, tub structure, the carbon fiber tub, uh -huh. um, you, there's, no, there's no loss of structural rigidity. So a lot of the dynamics of the car, I hear, I'm told, is still really maintained uh, compared to the coupe itself. Now, the one thing I can say about this is the car, now we have a bit of traffic here, but the car is pretty confident on the road and the twisties here. Like I said, unfortunately, we still 
have quite a bit of traffic. Let me give it a check in here. Let's give it a um, shot and put it on track mode for you as well. Okay? Alright, yeah. So now we're switching from sport to track. Oh yeah, and, and actually that's interesting. Immediately you can actually feel the weighting of the steering wheel. It's very different already. It's a bit more sharper, a bit more... You will notice firm. the steering wheel is very, very precise yeah. as well. Very, very precise steering. And the, it also changes the throttle response. Totally, right? yeah. Throttle response, everything. Excellent. Changed. Also, interestingly enough, the dash changes here a little bit. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room as we go downhill here. We have nobody behind us. Try a little acceleration. So there you guys you have it. This is the McLaren 570S Spider. It's been a really awesome experience. I do like this car. I endorse it. I think it's a fun, fun car. I think it's a great um, addition to the McLaren line. I thank you so Thanks, much. Man. Great driving, buddy. Thanks awesome. a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. See you in the next video, guys.
we'll see you there. Okay. Um, is that one recording now? <laughs>